Meantime, as local travel restrictions are revisited, regional partners are working with Jerusalem to boost international tourism as well. Israel, Cyprus and Greece announcing special travel deals for vaccinated individuals as a pilot for the rest of the world. And here from the Israeli Foreign Ministry to discuss is head of the Economic Bureau, Ilan Flus. Thank you so much for being with us. Good afternoon. All right, so Ilan, why Greece and Cyprus first? And, and are there others already in the works? I would say uh, Greece and Cyprus, obviously, are our regional neighbors, very close relations. The visit of the president of Cyprus yesterday, the visit of the prime minister of Greece last week. So I think this is uh, the explanation why those two countries first. Obviously, they are also dependent on the tourism industry. Uh, so there is a, a big interest uh, from their side. But I have to say that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, led by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Gabi Ashkenazi, and our embassies abroad, uh, have approached uh, quite a few countries in an effort to open up the skies, I would say, and let Israelis enter the countries on the basis of their vaccination uh, certificates. How are you ensuring safe travel? So the whole idea is, uh, since Israel has an advantage with a, quite a big amount of the population uh, vaccinated, we believe that traveling would be safer when you use the documentation of um, vaccination and not uh, necessarily only the tests. Um, a vaccinated person is not will not become an, uh, an ill person or sick person, so it is safer. Um, and the whole issue is really to uh, achieve mutual recognition of those certificates, uh, possibly with a combination of testing, and that will, that will make traveling and movement of people between countries safer. So is there maybe, I don't know, are we adding to like our biometric passports, for example, and how is that going to work? So we're now uh, basically working on the, the technology aspect of it, and uh, few approaches in the world. I have to say what we are talking to countries bilaterally, but we're also involved in a few of the multilateral um, processes such as with the OECD, with the World Health Organization, WHO, with um, IATA and other organizations trying to find the solutions, um, which basically uh, yeah, we have to look at appropriate technologies that can be used, so it's not uh, instead of a passport, but uh, it is a certificate, and we have to see how it matches and works together with the passport, making sure that the process is digital uh, and, and quick, because we have to also make sure that you don't have too many bottlenecks and uh, too many stations at the airport, because that will mean too many people uh, standing together, and obviously this can become a, a, a health uh, risk. All right, so I guess my final question, is there a date on when this pilot is set to actually begin? There's no final date. Obviously, uh, we are still uh, dealing with the number in Israel. In, uh, in uh, the other countries, um, it's stabilizing, but not, they're not ready yet. Um, so the, the, the date exactly is not, has not been decided. It is up to the two sides, basically ministries of um, health uh, together with Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Transportation uh, to discuss this uh, between us. And um, when the countries feel safe, then we can move forward. We hope it will be in the very near future. All right, Ilan Flust, thank you so much again for being with us today. Thank you.